The Marauders is a title that has been owned by many different groups, from villains to heroes, from future to alternate universes to etc. This video will focus on the original members, who were enlisted by Mr. Sinister to kill the Morlocks, who out of this OG Marauders died, who was redeemed, or appeared in the X-Men movies. Just sit back, relax, and stay tuned. Sabretooth is probably the biggest known character on the team, so I thought that's who we'll start with. Victor Creed is a monstrous beast that has ties to Wolverine through Weapon X. It was a recurring villain for Iron Fist. Yes, that was actually a thing back in the day, but that kind of is forgotten nowadays. There was also a while of time that he did try at one point to be a hero and join the X-Men, but it wouldn't work out and he would go back to being a villain pretty um, pretty soon. And as of recently, Victor Creed was not killed off, technically, but forced to live in a bottomless pit during the House of X arc by Professor X. Dang, that is cold. Sleeper Truth would be reworked in the X-Men movies as Logan's brother, which modern audiences believe is the case in the comics as well. But that's not true. Sabretooth and Wolverine in the comics are not brothers, but their relationship is far more complicated than family relationships. Vertigo, who was never actually given a real name in the comics or anywhere, is probably the second most known member of the team, seeing the fact that she's appeared in a lot of animated X-Men shows. She, after the whole murdering the Morlocks ordeal, ended up being one of the marauders who lived on the Savage Land, as which is an island full of dinosaurs, her ability is to give her opponents vertigo, hence the name. Her living on this island would end up making her become one of the local mutants there, and would actually have minor truth to the X-Men, but it would be revealed that she was actually a clone, and that this vertigo is far more heroic than the version of her that murdered the marauders, but would eventually be eaten by a dinosaur. Jeez. But that wasn't the end for her. She would return, most likely another clone, who would also die, this time at Deadpool's hands. Due to the whole clone stuff, it makes it pretty hard to keep track if she's dead or not, as she does appear in a lot of panels when it comes down to the quote-unquote evil mutants, but it's unclear if that's the resurrected clone of one of those who already died, or the original, or a new clone. It's just very confusing, but all I know is that there is at least a Vertigo out there, as we've seen her in multiple panels as in backgrounds, but we don't know which Vertigo it is that is out there. Arclight or Philippa or Philip, because for some unknown reason, she was presented as a dude in the Wolverine and the X-Men show. Anyways, she's an ex-soldier in the comics before joining the Marauders, becoming the team's assassin who has shockwave abilities. And after helping kill the Morlocks, Callisto, who was the leader of the Morlocks, who was one of the survivors, would end up going to have a strong hatred with Arclight, despite the fact that Arclight was technically not the leader of the Marauders, but regardless, the two of them were the ones who butted the head the, the most. But like Virgo, she would, be kicked the, she would kick the bucket, being killed in a fight with the X-Men after M-Day. But she returned, and die again, being killed by Magneto. What is it with it and people constantly dying more than once? Like, like they don't die one time, they die twice, and they keep coming back because she also came back again in background panels. So I suppose Arclight either has other clones too, or is just been resurrected. It's very unclear. For the rest, I think I'll summarize them all together since unlike Arclight, Vertigo, and Sabretooth, they're not really unique from one another. In fact, they're the only thing that really separates them is their abilities. Grey Crow, Blockbuster, Riptide, Scrambler, Harpoon, Prism, and Mollusk all died and were cloned by Mr. Sinister, therefore they returned in many different forms. And their abilities are the following. Grey Crow has been alive for ages. Blockbuster is a standard strongman. Scrambler can scramble mutant powers. Riptide can make twisters. Prism has crystal powers. Harpoon has blast powers. And Mollus has this weird electric virus in her. These characters usually don't have much of a backstory or any real motivation. They're just the quote-unquote bad mutants who show up, beat people up, die, <laughs> come back with no real explanation. Which isn't a bad thing because they certainly, I think, have cool designs and cool abilities. But they're just not meant to be all too deep, so I can't really go into it so much. 
because there's not really much to go into since, you know, like I said, they're not all too deep. There have been alternate universe versions of these characters that I would say are pretty interesting, but the mainstream version of each character is kind of bland, in my opinion, other than the fact that I think their designs look cool. And that's it. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.